Uh, welcome to today's lesson. We are going to learn about tra traversing, and under traversing, we are going to deal with something called a uh, bearing sheet. So, this is a lesson from Matili Technical presented by Gadigira Steven. So, let's go directly to the question. So, the figure below shows that traverse run from P to T. Using datum bearing in table below, prepare a traverse bearing sheet. So this is a question from NEC, uh, mostly in land survey, but also this question is also provided in building and civil engineering diploma classes. So uh, we are going to run a traverse from control points. So it's from P to T. Uh, from the diagram below, we have station P to K1 to K2 to K3 to K4 and then to the last control station T. So the readings there, we have for bearing and back bearings for all the readings. And we are going to pass through just to understand them. So we have a forbearing from P to Q. It is written there, so it's to a, it is 239 degrees 39 minutes, then 26 seconds. Then we have a similar from P to R, 140 degrees, 40 seconds, 32. So 40 minutes, 32 seconds. Then we have from P to K1. So there we have a forbearing of 127, 40, 33. And then the back bearing is 307, 40, 36. Then from K1 to K2, the forbearing is 320, 33, 58. And then the back bearing 140, 34, 00. And then from K2 to K3, the forbearing we have there 31 22 13 then the back bearing 211 22 10 then from k3 to k4 the forbearing there we have um so the forbearing there we have 225 47 05 then the back bearing is 75 47 11 then from k4 to t the forbearing there we have 224 27 55 then the back bearing there we have 44 27 48 then from t to w and t to s the forbearings are provided there so from t to w we have 75, 07, 51. Then from T to S, we have 286, 34, 37. Then from there, we have a bearing table there. So we have a table there. So these are the known datums from all those points. So from P to Q, we have 239, 39, 56. Then from R to P, we have 320, 40, 25. Then from S to T, we have 106, 34, 39. Then from T to W, we have 75, 07, 44. So here is a sample of the bearing sheet that I got from somewhere. So we have six columns. The first column we have the stations. Then the second columns we have the observed value. Then on the third column we have the orientation correction. Then on the fourth we have the preliminary adjusted bearings. Then we have the final correction. And the last column we have the final bearings so i have already written the stations so 
we have obtained the stations from the diagram that we, we had read there previously so from station p we note all the other adjacent stations that the bearings have been gotten into so there we write the four bearings of all the stations then when you move to k we'll have the bag bearing for the station p then we move to station k2 then from k2 we move from k2 to k3 then we have the back bearing of which from station k2 to k1 so we are going to write all those values that we have obtained from the table there So we are going to find how can we correct the the data that you have been given from the observed value in order to find the final bearings. So we come and look. So from the observed value, we are supposed to add 30 seconds. And the 30 seconds is the difference in seconds. So here we have 56 and here we have 26. So in order to correct the final bearings, we are going to add 30 seconds to the observed value in order to correct, to get the right thing. Then we are going to do the same from P to R. So from P to R, we have from the data that we had gotten there. So that is 140, 40, 25. So we do the same. In order to correct the observed value, we are going to see, so we have 140, 40, 32. So in order to correct it to find the correct final bearings, so we correct the 32 seconds in order to get the 25. So from our calculators, so that is 140, uh, 40, 32, uh, we subtract 140 from the final bearings, 40, 25. So the difference between the two is 7 seconds. So we subtract 7 seconds to the value here in order to get the final bearings which is the correct then from there we come and we find the mean of the orientation correction so the mean of the orientation correction so there we have plus 30 minus 7 wow uh, we have 23 so that 23 that is seconds then we divide it by 2. So after we divide it by 2, our answer we have. So when you divide by 2, so that will be uh, positive 11.5. So that will be the correction applied to the station K1. So we move to the next station. So we have K1 to P. Uh, from the previous station, uh, the four bearing of P to K1, uh, there was 127, 40, 33. So, in, so the back bearing of the same line, we add 180 degrees. So when we add 180 degrees, that will be 307, 40, 33. But here on our next station from K1, 1 to P, we have 307, 40, 36. So we need to have 
a correction in order to obtain the back bearing that we have gotten from our previous so we'll need to correct this seconds in order for it to be 307 40 33 so in order to correct this it means we are going to minus here three we are going to minus three seconds from there so after minusing the three seconds uh, we are going to see uh, so there so that will be a minus three we come to our calculator so here our previous orientation correction that is 11.5 minus 3 so we correct the value of the next so here we have plus 8.5 seconds so that will be the correction on the next point so from k1 to k2 we'll have to correct it by a positive 8.5 then we come to the next point so from k2 to k1 uh, as you can see there we have a back bearing of 140 3400 and from our previous uh, reading there up from k1 to k2 uh, we had 320 33 so the back bearing of that line is supposed to be a minus 180 so when you minus 180 here uh we will going we are going to get 140 33 58 but here we have 140 34 00 so we find the difference between the two in order to correct this given value to have the uh, the same back bearing in the the one from our previous so uh, having done that to k1 we move to k2 so in k2 we are going to see so from k1 to k2 there we have a reading so the back bearing of that line should be a minus 180 degrees so when you minus 180 the value should be the same in order to find the correction so the value that you are having there so we are supposed to have um 140 degrees 34 minutes zero zero seconds then when we correct it we are going to get a negative two so that negative two is the value that you've gotten from our previous so that is the back bearing of that so the negative two we correct it with the positive 8.5 and we get our 6.5 uh, we are going to do the same to the next station so from k2 to k3 uh, there are there our four bearing was 31 22 13. so our back bearing is supposed to be a uh, plus 180 degrees so if we had 180 degrees uh we get there so that will be 211 22 13. but here on our table from k3 to k2 we don't have that we have to 11 22 0, 1. so we need to correct that in order for us to get the value that we had gotten from our back bearing from the top value that we have so uh in order to correct it that means we have to add 12 uh, we are supposed to have so that will be uh, plus 12 seconds in order to get our value which is right so this is just a simple calculation uh, in which we have the difference between the four bearing and the back bearing and our answer we find the correction in the orientation column so there we have a uh, positive 12 so we add with the correction that we had there previous and we get that is 18.5 to the value so just a little bit a little bit recap so for those who have not understand what you are talking about here so in the bearing sheet you find the difference between the observed value and the final bearing from those two we get the orientation correction and after we get the orientation correction 
we use that orientation correction to identify all the correction in the adjacent values so uh, just like we are done earlier so this is just a little bit repetition before we can go on so after we find the correction in both the orientations so we are in a normal bearing traverse sheet we are given two values from which we get the mean and from the mean we can get the orientation correction to the next point so from that point to another uh, stations uh, we get the difference between the four bearing and the back bearing and that difference is, is what we are going to apply in the orientation correction after getting the correction in the retention correction we apply that correction to the next point so the the next control point the traverse bearing leg uh, we do the same to the other so from k from k1 to k2 uh, the correction uh, so that is 320 33 58 uh, we minus 180 degrees and after we minus 180 degrees we find the back bearing of that same line so the back bearing of that line should be 140 33 58 and from that value we find the correction of our point that we have there written on the table so we correct that value and uh, we correct that value by finding the difference between those two points so the difference between those two points and a lot of the observed difference is also is always gotten in the second section so the degree section does not much change the minute second does not much change but the second matches so it it changes a lot so that difference is what we're going to apply on our point there so the difference we're going to apply it on the correction orientation and if we minus a two there the correction we get a positive 6.6 .6, just like what we had said and earlier there so all this is applied to the next section so from k2 to k3 we have a four bearing of 31 22 13 uh, and from that value we use that value to get our next point so from k3 to k2 that is the back bearing of our previous uh, the back bearing is supposed to be 211 22 13 just like what you are seeing there in the calculator so that is the value that we are supposed to be having in the next control station and but in the next control station there we can see we have a 01 instead of a 13 so we need to correct that value in order to get what we are supposed to have so by correction of that value simple calculation simple mathematics uh, the difference between the two so what do you do to that point if you find the difference you will notice we have a 12 seconds there so the 12 seconds is what is going to make a difference and if you have the 12 seconds there that is what we are going to apply in the orientation correction section so the column for orientation correction we move we continue moving it so in the orientation correction there if you find the difference the difference will be a um, positive 12 and this this simple bearing sheet the only thing that we are majorly looking here is the correction of the four bearing from the back bearing and vice versa so those are the points that we should be understanding in this section so after we find the difference in the two we apply it to the orientation correction that we had there previous on that point k3 so from k3 we had a positive six point 
five. So we correct that positive. Uh, we continue adding because the correction here, we added a uh, twelve second in order to get the value that we have there. So after adding the twelve seconds, that will be six point five plus twelve. And from our calculator there we have 18.5 so 18.5 is the value that we have in the orientation correction column and that orientation correction we are using it on the next point so on k4 we are going to apply that difference so that will be a positive 18.5 then we move to the next point so from K3 to K4, we have a four bearing of 255.7.05. When we minus 180 degrees, uh, the value that we are supposed to get there, it's supposed to be 75.47.05. But what we are seeing on our screen there, the value changes so we need to correct that and when you correct there uh, the difference between the two so we have subtract 6 we get 12.5 and that is going to be applied to the next section the difference between the forbearing and the back bearing and we correct it so this correction in our final station is going to be applied to the adjacent values so we are going to correct for S and W and that correction is going to have a major difference in our next step there. So after correction we go so we add our value plus the correction in order to find the something that should be near the correction of the final bearing. Uh, we add so that is 256. 34 plus the correction which is a positive 19.5 uh, so that that is a so that is seconds make sure when you write in your calculator you write it well so there we have zero degrees zero minute and 19.5 seconds so our value there in the calculator so we have 286 34 then 36.5 uh, I'm going to round off that value in order to have something new to the, uh, the timetable. So that value we are going to write on the next column, the empty column there on the section value. So after a little bit correction, that is the value that we have gotten. So we write there, so that will be 58, 34, 57. And that is the value that you're going to find the difference in what we are supposed to correct. So we do the same to W. So that is 75, 07, 51 plus 0 minutes, 0 degrees. But the second is what you're going to correct there. So the second, that is 19.5. When you add the value, you find the co the near to correction so the value that is near to the final bearing of those two points when you are there our value so from the calculator make sure you press well on the calculator so that will be 75 8 10.5 i'm going to round up that value so that is the value that should be near the correction that you are finding there in the bearing sheet and that value uh, is what we are going to write on our next column there so for s we had written on top there then we are going to write for w so those two values is what we are going to find the final correction so from those two values we are going to obtain the final corrections of the observed bearing that we had written there so those two values find the difference between those values and the final bearing after find those values 
that correction was what we are going to apply in all the other control stations the points there so in all those points uh, so we find the difference between the two so we had there our final bearing and here we have our value that we have gotten now so that is 286 34 57 and the other value is 286 34 59 uh, in those two values, so uh, even when seeing just with your eyes, within, within, without no calculator there, you can see we corrected that value by adding a positive 2. But if that is a major problem for you, you can use a calculator. Too. So the difference between those two values. So the 57 and the 59. This is where our catch is. So let's use the calculator just a little bit and we find our value. So the difference between those two. But mathematically you should know this. Uh, so the difference between those two will be a positive two seconds. So the positive two seconds is what we are going to correct there. So just remember we have gotten those values from the corrected orientation correction we have corrected them and we have gotten the value that we are now seeing there on the table so with those two values we use those two values to find the final correction and those final correction you obtain them from the final bearing so the difference between those two so the difference between those values so we corrected this value in order to obtain the final bearing and the difference between those two uh, so that is that will be a positive two and that value there on top and we are going to apply that to the next for the next reading uh, so here we have in our next section Mm. So there we have a 75, 08, 11, and in our final bearing we have 75, 07, 44. So the value that we have here, we should correct it with the value that we have on the final bearing. So the difference between those two, that is also that is always the catch in this bearing sheets uh, so the difference between those two so we correct the bearing that you have gotten uh, with the final bearing so the difference between those two or what we corrected in order to get those value so there we have a negative 27 second so the, the difference between those two having gotten the two so that is a positive 2 and a negative 27 and this negative 27 that you have gotten you can see there on the calculator it was just an easy calculation as long as you press the calculator well you get your value so we add those two just like what you do it there on our beginning of this session and we find the so we add these two and the difference between those two so Mm, that will be a negative 25 and we find the mean so when you find the mean uh, that will be the correction that you are going to apply so we find the mean of the 25 so that is negative 25 seconds and that negative 25 seconds so the mean between those two when you divide it by two um, we are going to get so that will be so the, the mean between those two so that is the mean uh, so we have two stations there so the mean between those two stations is what we're going to apply in the values that we have there uh, and in the values that we have uh, so when you divide that we get a negative 12.5 
and then negative 12.5 is what you are going to move to the next section and you are going to look what you are supposed to do with the negative 5.6 uh, and that negative 12.5 uh, we go back there and we count all those stations that we had so you count the number of stations and that number of stations is supposed to be divided by the negative 12.5 so you go back to the, the table and you count those stations that we had there so those control stations that we used uh, so we had begun with the station there on top until the last station that we had gotten there so by counting the number we have six stations there so when we divide by six station uh, we have a negative 2.08 so that negative 2.08 is the value that you are supposed to use in order to correct all the stations and here is what you're going to do so the negative 2.08 we're going to apply it on the first station and after applying that negative 0.08 we are going to add the same to the next point so in the in our next uh, station uh, we have that is negative 2.08 then we do the same, we add the same, so we add a negative 2.08, uh, that is, uh, it resembles multiplying it by 2, but mm -hmm, that does not sound well, so we just add a negative 2.08 to the next station, and that is going to be applied to all the stations, so when you add a negative 0 0.28, we get a negative, so when you do so we got the so that negative 0 0.0 is for the first correction of that station uh, and uh, as you can see there on the calculator when you add those two the value is going to be applied to the next station and when you apply the value to the next station the same is going to be repeated so the value that you go uh, you get there so that will is going to be applied to the next so that is a negative 4.16 that will be written on the next correction so the final correction here we are dealing with the final correction so that is a negative 4.06 and the same we add a negative 2.08 to the negative 4.16 we get a negative 6.24 and we add the same we get a negative 8.32 we add and we get a negative 10.4 then we go back to our correction so the preliminary adjusted bearing we get the reading so on our first correction there in k1 how we use the observed value and we add the orientation correction and that orientation correction is in second just a reminder uh, for those who have been following so that orientation correction is in second and they are going to apply it in the observed value in the k so the observed value for k so from p to k1 that is the value that you are going to correct so when you are there uh, hmm, after adding we find so after adding that will be 127 40 44.5 so we round off that value that is the value that you're going to write in the preliminary adjusted bearing there we have it and that value in the preliminary adjusted bearing we correct it in the final correction and in our final correction we have a negative 2.08 so after our minusing on the section of second the final bearing of that value will be 127 40 43 the same is done on k2 so from k1 to k2 that is the four bearing we correct the 
section of the second so 320 33 58 and we had 8.5 so to be accurate just use the calculator but if you are mathematically knowledgeable you can apply mathematically so if that value exceeds 60 so then the other has to move to the section of the minute because one minute is equals to 60 seconds yeah one minute is equals to 60 seconds but you can use the calculator that will be a more accurate way especially when doing the exams and it minimizes waste of time because the accuracy is just there so when you add the 8.5 so we are we are adding and the value is in in a positive sign so that means our value will be in addition uh, and we find the preliminary adjusted bearing so that will be 320 34 uh, um, so that value uh, we need to correct that value a little bit so that is uh, and if you so we round off so that will be 3320 34 07 in the preliminary, preliminary adjusted bearing and we have the final correction so we correct there with a negative 4.16 and we find the final bearing so our final bearing will be so that value you can use the calculator for accuracy uh, but by looking at that so that will be a 07 we correct it by a negative 0.06 so if we subtract that that will be a 03 so the final bearing is supposed to be 320 34 03 by just looking there so that value yeah that value is just correct and that is what we are going to apply it in the final bearing when we move to the next section we apply the same so we just add the orientation correction and after adding the orientation correction we correct it by the final correction the same is done to k3 by the orientation correction and we find the preliminary adjusted bearing and we correct it with the final so that is done up to the end so the last step uh, the final correction we minus it by 10.4 and that will be all so this normal bearing sheet is so so simple and i think you have well understood it and if not i'm going to do the same in another example 